as you come out of the castle grounds right away you're in town and there's a great tram system that can help you get around. Oslo has a dozen tram lines that interconnect and are very efficient or you can just walk. The oldest buildings of Oslo can be found in the several blocks between the fortress and the parliament. This part of town offers a pleasant place for a city stroll today with shops and restaurants, a couple of modern art museums and some historic buildings presenting a typical business environment that has special appeal for those connoisseurs of city life. Oslo's two main museums of modern art are in this neighborhood one block apart. The National, or Museet for Samdes Kunst, which showcases art from 1945 through today in a rustic stone building. It's a grand building that was formerly occupied by the Bank of Norway, located at number four Bankplassen. And there's also the Astrup Fernley Museum of Modern Art with contemporary special exhibits. A wonderful neighborhood is the Christiania Tor. This casual intersection with a fountain in the middle of it and a lovely cafe around it is one of the fine focal points. That's Cafe Celsius. It's one of the oldest buildings in town. It's now a gallery as well as a cafe and restaurant offering some tasty foods. There's the old stock exchange, the Borson. Now while you're over in that part of downtown, take a little detour over to look at the new Opera House. It's a little bit isolated on the other side of this busy highway, but there's a pedestrian bridge that will bring you across and you can enjoy this remarkable structure. That's right, they're walking on the roof. They're not going up to the entrance. That's down easily accessible at ground level. But just for fun, the roof is a pedestrian promenade and it gives you some lovely views looking across to downtown Oslo, looking across the harbor. There's the ship that will be taking us to Copenhagen, overnight cruise in a couple of days. And you can see that Oslo is quite the modern city. This opera house just opened in April of 2008 and it's very much a Norwegian project. It was built by a Norwegian government. It was designed by Norwegian architects and a major Norwegian construction company did the actual building. And it performs Norwegian music as well as international music and ballet, of course. It's won some important awards in 2009. It won the Mies van der Rohe Architectural Award from the European Union, their main architectural prize. And they have free concerts in the lobby during the summertime. Because it's just recently opened, it's still a very popular attraction for the locals of Oslo. You get the feeling that most of these people live here and they're out discovering it perhaps for the first time. It's a gleaming white structure of local marble. It the theater elements were designed by some British architects and designers and acoustic engineers. The Norwegian architectural firm Snohetta designed the building. They also designed the radical new library of Alexandria in Egypt. They're really quite an amazing company to come up with this beautiful modernistic and functional design right on the water's edge just outside of downtown Oslo. It's worth a walk over to have a look at it. Just takes you five minutes to get there.